why everyone in Europe is lonely. And these are some of the headlines that got some people rather worried. Reuters, German man found after seven years dead in bed. Yahoo News said mummified body of a lonely woman dead for two years was found. And then you have OD.com. Nine people were found dead years after their deaths. And then you have uh, an article from Wikipedia, Joyce Vincent. She was found dead two years later. And the interesting thing was that she wasn't an elderly person, but she was alone and nobody missed her for two years. Now, this also caused an article to be written by the uh, uh, BBC. And this was a tragedy that happened in the, the Netherlands. And what actually caused this, the, the news article basically said a Dutch tragedy that actually caused the Dutch government to do something about it. And this was a story about a 74-year-old woman who was found at her home in Rotterdam. And that was in, on the 21st of November 2013. And apparently she had been dead for 10 years. The woman was called Pep de Bruyne. Okay, she was born uh, somewhere in the former uh, Dutch uh, East Indies, but that is not the story. The story was that how could someone be dead for 10 years and nobody noticed? Apparently, she had been estranged from her only daughter for years, and she was alone, and the bills were being paid through automatic um, uh, billing, and uh, the news of uh, the postman would come in, drop more letters, drop more letters, but he didn't care. He's just doing his job. Anyway, uh, it wasn't until I think someone needed to do some repairs or and then they discovered, oh, there's something here. We needed to open the door and they found her. And of course, it made the headlines because it is a good story. It basically shows humanity at its worst. OK, now that is the reality. And according to the uh, psychology today, it says, though our need to connect is innate, Many of us frequently feel alone. Loneliness is a state of distress or discomfort that results when one perceives a gap between one's desires for social connection and actual experience of it. So the question is, why are people lonely? You would think that a lot of the lonely people would be elderly people, retired people. You don't have a daily job. You don't have a daily routine. So what do you do with your time? Those are the lonely people. But the truth is, apparently, you have young people are the loneliest people uh, between the ages of 16 and 24, according to the a BBC survey. These are the group with the largest percentage of lonely people. Uh, uh, people that they have about 40% of loneliness and you think they have social media you have uh, Facebook where you can connect with people the uh, young people tend to do a lot of things but apparently that is not the case a lot of uh, young people actually feel loneliness and they don't know how to discuss and get help and then you have the second group which are people between the ages of 75 and above who are lonely and you could actually uh, understand why someone an elderly person with less mobility uh, less understanding of technology would be lonely but the fact that the younger group are the loneliest in the world is rather concerning now let's go back to the Dutch experience and what they decided to do about it First of all, once they discovered this and the news headline, they decided we're going to put in a few initiatives to help the elderly people to become less lonely. And the idea is to the uh, municipality will check on the elderly people. If you're 75 and older, you get regular visits, or I don't know how it's done, but you get regular visits to check on you. And then the other option that they put in place was the uh, part-time dog uh, that is a, a system where you get a, a pattern dog that you can take care of. The elderly people, because often they either don't have enough funding for vets and taking care of a dog, but if you're doing it part time, so they basically walk your dog and the dog owners will um, pay to have a, an elderly person come take your dog for a walk. And it has been quite successful because someone said, now nah, because I have a dog, People actually want to, uh, they recognize the dog, they recognize me 
because I'm with a dog and they are more likely to chat with you. And uh, so two people walking their dogs have something in common, elderly people, and they can just sit and, and chat. And it is a win-win situation. But then it is said that the system that was set up was only a bit too narrow because it only concentrates on a lot of elderly people. There are younger people who have moved away from family to go to go and live in the cities and either students or people, just young people in the cities who are lonely as well and that they should be able to connect uh, and help these people as well. So the initiative is pretty good and it's working helping the younger people elderly people and also helping uh the younger ones now the question is what causes loneliness and it says there is not one single cause of loneliness loneliness can often be a result of life changes or circumstances that includes living alone changing your living arrangements having financial problems or death of a loved one and uh, online some people were asked where were they lonely some said i'm an introvert it is it, i get sometimes i get social anxiety from being with a lot of people i actually uh i want to but i just don't know how it's just so stressful having to um go and meet people and others said well i am afraid to let people in so that i don't know i don't want to disappoint them uh, so th this social, social anxiety that you want to be accepted, but you feel that if I uh, put myself out there, uh, people might find me not interested and they'll leave. So it's it's rather complex. Others have uh, a, lo a lonely because they have mental health issues, either uh, severe depression or other issues. Uh, that me means that you constantly uh in yourself trying to fix yourself that you don't really have time to help people uh, or to interact with people communicate with people and even that maybe communicating would actually help you but it's just a, a vicious cycle of trying to uh communicate but because you're depressed you could not communicate and because you're depressed you you don't interact with people so you feel alone and it just goes round and round and another thing why people feel lonely is when you lose your best friend either your best friend moves away your best friend dies or you something happens that just breaks the friendship and then you feel alone uh, some people feel alone because they're divorced or uh, your wife or your husband cheats on you or just the marriage breaks down or your uh, your husband or your wife dies and then you're alone and in that case, apart, apart from having to rebuild your life, if you've been married for a long time, it can be quite traumatic. And that is why a lot of people actually, especially when they're elderly and a partner dies, they get into depression and often they die a, a few uh, months later. And that happened to, I think, the the Queen of England. The husband died. Uh, he was elderly. And then she wasn't young either. And then a few, uh, less than a year later, she was gone as well. So you have a combination of people losing love ones or and then being alone and then it just means that they cannot get out of it especially uh when they are elderly and then the other thing is when uh, people say i want to i feel alone because but i'm too critical i just uh, I, i'm i'm just a, a bit toxic in my behavior i complain about everything i criticize everything so i drain people and because of that people don't want to be around me uh when people get to know me that is another uh, true reason because if you're trying to, if you're lonely and you want to go out and meet someone the uh, the last thing you would want from that person is to be just critical it just makes it just drains the battery and then you the next time someone says oh let's hang out you know what they're going to do and you just cannot deal with that so people become lonely because of their nature their behavior another person replied that i'm lonely because i'm too intense some people because they they are so lonely and once they get a friend they're just so intense that they the friend cannot breathe they just all over you you become the, uh, the 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 best friend the only friend they want to do everything spend the every a minute of the day with you and they just overwhelm you and then you end up just resenting and then pulling away and then they go back to being lonely
And another thing, probably a lot of people actually forget to, uh, to talk about when it comes to loneliness is being broke. Yes, someone said, I am broke. I'm always in survival mode. And that is very true because when you, uh, it, it takes money. Uh, when you're constantly worried about money and you need to, someone said, oh, let's, and get, let's go and have dinner somewhere. It doesn't even have to be a, an expensive restaurant, just going to McDonald's. But sometimes you don't have that amount to take public transport or go put uh, petrol in your car and go and meet up with people. It is expensive and that you don't have. And uh, so when you're constantly in survival mode, it just means you, you get isolated. You can't go out. You can't uh, go to the, you, you could go to the park, but being alone in the park when others are in a group can be also quite, uh, it just makes the, the loneliness feel a bit more intense. So what can you do about that? And that is what a lot of experts have been trying to do. And one of the things they discovered is this that modern society contributes to a lot of loneliness and for the same uh, for the simple reason that uh, now you want independence independence now means that you live away from your family uh, uh, especially if your family is toxic you move away from them and then you end up in a situation where you've come from a, a toxic family you don't know how to behave or how to communicate and so it's just a learning process that means during that time if you're able to go over that or go to therapy to get help from a professional uh you, you it's a work in progress constantly working to improve yourself so talk about uh, technology and modern life. Uh, people used to live together. You know, you have uh, your you live in your house. You have your parents. Then you have your uh, grandparents. So there's constantly someone there, and uh, people live in close knitted uh, communities, and uh, often in villages or small towns. But now with people living independently, uh, it also it's also another cause for loneliness where every member of the family lives far away and you cannot really get together without spending money or traveling it becomes very difficult and that is one of the problems of modern life living in a big city where individualism is really important and because of that people fall into loneliness and because they've been living in an independent life so to speak for so many years it becomes very difficult for them once you retire you don't have your job anymore you no longer have the mobility because maybe your health is deteriorating it becomes very difficult so you have that is why people say why why are more people Europeans lonely not only in Europe I think in most developing uh, countries uh, or most developed countries it is the same thing it's complex it's not easy to to uh, encourage people to be individuals to live independent lives but also not feel loneliness it's just uh, 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 impossible to balance the two and another thing that makes loneliness worse is especially in the winter months in Europe, where you have uh, uh, all the shops are closed. Maybe on the uh, in December, the shops are closed. Um, you're alone. It's cold outside. You need to put the heating on. So you worry a lot. You can. There's only so much television you can watch or YouTube or anything. You just get bored. And because of that, uh, it causes other problems. People fall into alcoholism and they, they addiction. And uh, it, then the more addiction you have, the more money you spend on that, the more you isolate yourself and it becomes very difficult. And uh, when you, some, that's why you observe uh, elderly people sometimes. They have this routine where they go outside. of uh, They just have the routine, watch a television series they like, then at a particular time, they go to the park and they're not there to, to do anything. They just watch people and uh, watch people go, life go by. Uh, and uh, and the, the reason they do that is because it just fills your mind. You don't, you're alone, but you're not really alone uh, uh, as much. And then once it's, uh, it gets a bit late, they go back home and they go to sleep. And then you repeat the same thing every day. But then when the holidays come, it's too cold to go outside and watch people and even if you want to go nobody's on the street and then you feel that everyone is having a good time with their family only you are alone but a lot of people are alone and that is why uh, uh, communities are trying to create 
a sense of uh, of community in most uh, cities where you could go to places for elderly people and just interact, play bingo or do whatever you want. Uh, the same thing for uh, young uh, people. Volunteering is another important thing that most people do. If you volunteer at a shelter to help other people, uh, you're busy, you're constantly interacting with people, you meet new people, or you take on a hobby, another thing that people do to combat loneliness. But all everything you do requires effort. And I think uh, that is one of the biggest uh, uh, difficulty for a lot of people that you need to make an effort to, to not be lonely and uh, someone else needs to make an effort not be lonely and then if you need to meet each other you need to organize something so not being lonely requires a lot of effort if the effort is one way sooner or later the person calling you inviting you to do things will probably just get fed up and then will abandon you and then the cycle starts all over again so loneliness in europe it's complicated.